So, now, the next thing is, how do you generate the pH gradient, right? If you want to move the um, proteins in a pH gradient. First of all, in the solution, you use antelite to generate the uh, uh, pH gradient. But now we're talking about the 2D gel, right? So here we are focusing on how to actually generate a pH gradient in a gel, in a equipment gel. You just mentioned that. Well, the pH gradient is generated by well-defined equivalent buffers, okay? And these buffers, I will introduce the chemicals and contains immobilants, okay? Which are co-polymerized with acrylamide, so they're fixed in the gel. This, this immobilized generates pH um, gradient in the gel. And so, because of this, this co-polymerization, the reproducibility can be very high in terms of producing the uh, IF um, gel, okay? And, of course, if you look at the history of the technology development, the breakthrough to me is the um, invention of immobilized uh, IPG strips, where you fix your gel on the supporting plastic so that you can move this IPG gel easily. And before this was, uh, was invented, it was extremely hard to pick up a warm-like gel and try to put it on the second dimension uh, um, um, uh, you know, SDS page gel. But with the support of the plastic film, it's... Yes? What is IPG? IPG, okay, great. It's immobilized the pH gradient. Okay, IPG. Good question. All right. Because we have many choices of immobilized, you can actually um, make your own choice. Any, any pH gradient between pH 3 and pH 12. Okay. And uh, so this is what I mean. Because of the breakthrough, it makes this whole process much easier than 10, 15 years ago. I really appreciate this. What is, what is immobilized? This is generating uh, the pH gradient. Immobilize the, the chemical form formula is like this, okay? Where the R group contains either a, carbox carbox a carboxylic or amino group, okay? And these, uh, these uh, immobilize are usually a weak acid or base defined by its pK value of this group, okay? And to make the pH in the in the gel, you simply mix the weak acid and the base in a certain ratio, okay? And that will generate this. I'll show you the process later. But before we show that, here are some well-known um, immobilized. For this, for these ones, the um, the more acidic, okay? And this is the formula, so you can check this up in, in the well-documented literature. And um, for example, this is one pH one, pH three point one, three point six, and four point six. And for another group, it's mostly weak, um, basic, and from anywhere from six point two to um, more than twelve pH twelve. Okay. So the process of making this is very easy. The, um, I believe pH uh, uh, Barrett provides uh, some kind of equipment to make gradient gel. Right. So basically, you have two solutions where the one you have a mobile line that provides pH 4, the other one provides pH 7. And then you mix this in certain ratio and pour this into a gel, okay, with films supported on each side. And then, and then you dry the gel on the film and it cut out this, this gels. There you make your IPG strip.